Esophageal cancer can often be treated. The type of treatment you will have depends on various factors. The size and type of the cancer, its location within the esophagus, whether it has spread to other parts of the body, and your overall health. Your treatment plan might include a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and immunotherapy. Your specialist teams will support you throughout your treatment journey. They will explain the different treatments available, their benefits and potential side effects. They will discuss the treatment plan with you to make sure it is personalized to your needs. And they will help you in managing any treatment related side effects, including dietary changes. Throughout your treatment and afterwards, you will have regular checkups, tests and scans. If you experience any worrying symptoms or side effects, you can always contact your clinical nurse specialist before your next scheduled checkup. If the cancer is detected early and hasn't spread, surgery might be an option. The surgeon will typically remove most or all of the esophagus along with the surrounding lymph nodes. They will reconstruct the esophagus using the stomach to allow you to eat and drink again. This is a long and challenging operation and not every patient will be fit enough to undergo it. Chemotherapy involves using medication to target and destroy cancer cells. You might receive chemotherapy in the following scenarios. You may receive this before surgery, which helps control and sometimes shrink the cancer, and after surgery, where it eliminates any remaining cancer cells and reduces the risk of cancer recurrence. It can sometimes be combined with radiotherapy, and this is known as chemoradiotherapy. It can also be used for symptom relief, especially in advanced stages of the disease. Radiotherapy uses high energy radiation to destroy cancer cells. It can be used alongside chemotherapy for early stage cancer, but also to reduce symptoms in advanced stages. These treatments aim to halt the growth of cancer cells and boost your immune system's ability to fight the cancer. You might receive immunotherapy if the cancer has spread to other areas of the body, when a cure isn't possible, or to reduce the chances of the cancer coming back after it is surgically removed. If the cancer is advanced and can't be cured, the focus shifts to managing symptoms and improving your quality of life. This can be emotionally challenging to accept. In such cases, you will be referred to a dedicated team called the Palliative Care or Symptom Control Team. They will help manage your symptoms to make you as comfortable as possible. Your clinical nurse specialist or the Palliative Care Team can also provide support and guidance to you and your loved ones. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Your healthcare team is there to support you and guide you every step of the way.